Hello and welcome. Inside this package we have an iPad. If I'm being honest, I don't even remember what model iPad this is. So you guys will know right away based on the uh, title and the thumbnail for the video. But if I had to guess, this is probably an iPad 4th gen on iOS 6. I seem to get a lot of those. But there's only one way to find out, so let's get this thing opened up and see what we have. Well, hello, this is an iPad Air first gen. Oh no, it is engraved. That's unfortunate. I really don't understand why people do that. I mean, I guess I do, but when it ends up being one of these kind of devices, it's really a bummer. So I'm expecting this to have iOS 7 on it, which will actually be my first iPad Air on iOS 7 that does not have some sort of display problem. All the other ones I've had have an issue with the LCD. So let me wipe down this screen here. It was pretty dirty. Appears to be in good condition. All right, that'll have to do for now. You can see it, there's still some smudges on it, but I'm not seeing any cracks and I don't even think there's any scratches as far as I can tell. Flipping around to the back, I don't see any damage. The charging port looks good. The corners are all in good condition. Power button works. Rocker switch works. And the volume button. So let's try to power this on and hopefully this still has iOS 7 on it. Can't really tell from the Apple logo so we'll let this thing boot up. Okay, here we go. We are met with the slide to unlock, which means either iOS 7, 8, or 9. And that wallpaper is looking like iOS 7, and I think that's what we have. We've got the orange or red music icon, and we don't have a passbook icon, which is an easy way to tell on the iPhones which version this is. Let's check inside of settings. And there we go, we have 7.1, and this is a 16 gigabyte model, so that is super cool to see. The home button's actually pretty loud, and you guys can listen to this. I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe it's never been used? Either way, this is a gorgeous device. Like I said, this is my first iPad Air on iOS 7 that doesn't have some sort of problem at least I'm assuming. Let's try the camera. Take a picture of that iPod Classic over there. Now I could be wrong about this, but the iPad Air, well, I know it has a five megapixel camera, but I don't know if it's any different than the iPad fourth generation, which also has a five megapixel camera. I know with the iPad Air, the bezels got smaller on the sides and we got the introduction of the stereo speakers at the bottom, which the iPad mini had a year before, but this was the first time a full-size iPad got stereo speakers as well as the thin bezels. This was also the first 64-bit iPad shipping with the Apple A7 chip. So at the time, this was the most powerful handheld device in the world. It had a slightly higher clock speed than the iPhone 5S, which shares the same chip. I believe the iPad is 1.4 gigahertz, while the iPhone 5S is 1.3 gigahertz. So a little faster here on the iPad Air, but no Touch ID. Interestingly, Apple left that until the iPad Air second gen. This is actually the last full price iPad, if you will, that featured a non-laminated display, which you can hear when I tap on it there. The next year, the iPad Air 2 would get a fully laminated display and there would be no air gap between the glass and the actual LCD. So the App Store is working, it appears to be working just fine. I'm not sure if the featured tab is gonna load. I know that has some problems on iOS 6. 
Let's see if Siri works. What were the score of the college football games this past weekend? I found 29 college football games last Saturday. There you go. Siri is working and doing well. What happens if we touch that? Oh, it just gives us some things you can ask. So as I'm sure most of you know, iOS 7, which launched here on the iPad Air, radically changed how we view iOS and the design that it had. One of the new features is that the wallpaper moves behind the apps ever so slightly when you tilt the device. So if you're looking at it like you are right now on a 2D screen, then it appears as if it were 3D. Now this is actually a feature brought from the jailbreak community that was a tweak you could install that did the exact same thing move the apps or sorry moved i don't actually know yeah it's the wallpaper that's moving behind the apps so apple actually incorporated that from a jailbreak tweak into ios 7. some more changes obviously include the ui everything looks different it has a different feel to it And this was the first and actually really the only overhaul iOS has ever received. From iOS 1 through iOS 6, it looked the same. And iOS 7, which we have here, all the way to iOS 17, which was just recently launched, has kept the same style. So that's been a look at the iPad Air on iOS 7. Before we turn it off and before we end this video, let's look at those iOS 7 wallpapers. Of course, we have the dynamic ones, which I don't think I've ever used in a video, but I'm not a huge fan of them, but I will show them to you. So it's these little circles that show up behind and they actually kind of move when you tilt the device. So if I tilt it to the right, you can see the bubbles go to the right, if you tilt it to the left, they go to the left. That's how that works, but I really don't like those kind of wallpapers. I don't think they look so nice. I would much rather have these gorgeous landscapes and photographs from nature. Now, I don't think I've picked this one before. This looks like a wave of some sort that is shot in black and white. And that actually looks pretty good. It is kind of in the background. It doesn't intrude upon the iOS experience. And since it's black and white, it allows the applications to stand out more than another wallpaper would. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is a look at an iPad Air, never been updated since iOS 7. Again, this is the first one for me that is in this good of a condition, and I'm happy to add this to the collection. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.